to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Stockin? Present. Mr. Fanton? Present. Mr. Curran? Here. Mr. Decker? Here. Mr. Havey? Here. Mr. Healy? Here. Mrs. Hopkins? Here. Mrs. Root? Here. Mr. Crandall? Eight members present. Thank you. Uh, first item on, next item on our agenda is the approval of the audit. It was sent out by email last week and there's a copy on your desk. Are there any questions? Mrs. Root, motion to approve. Mr. Fanton, support. Are there any questions, comments? Are none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Next item is a grant program uh, information from our county administrator, Chris and Knapp. My microphone's not on, so I'll just uh, speak up. I uh, wanted to let everyone know that we received notification on April 9th that uh, we were had a grant award on this. And if we'd like to apply for it, we could capture that award. Um, that obviously was after public safety, so this was not able to go to public safety in the month of April. It is due prior to our next public safety meeting. So I have uh, told emergency management and the sheriff's office to go ahead and apply for this. They'll be coming to you in public safety um, next month to ask for uh, the appropriate resolution and ratification of their signatures on the grant application. Any questions? What the grant is all about? I, I believe so. I believe the Sheriff's Office and Emergency Management met um, earlier last week, and it is, they're all on the same page on this. I'm sorry, I wasn't more refined about that. Uh, I, I don't remember what this grant was all about. I want to be on the same page, too. It's the State Homeland Security Program, State Law Enforcement Terrorism Prevention Program. Most of it will be going towards cybersecurity. You just rang the bell. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Carly, it's the grant that is split between emergency services and the Sheriff's Department. And prior to last year, we did them as separate resolutions. Now we've been bringing them as one. So it'll show both, both allocations. You're welcome. Mr. Healy. Uh, yes, that, is that a multi-year grant? I believe we do one every year. Mm -hmm. I remember. Are there other questions? Hearing none, uh, there's no action to take right now. That was information. Next item is referrals from committees. We'll start with personnel. Good afternoon. The Director of Real Property Tax Services, Joe Budinger, is requesting permission to fill the position of Tax Map Technician Trainee. That would be uh, grade 12, step base to 7. Uh, and I will move that. Moved by Mr. Havey. Is there support? Mr. Curran, questions? Comments? None. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. I do too. <laughs> Mr. Budinger is requesting permission to fill one full-time senior tax map technician, which is grade six, step base to 11, and all subsequent positions, including hiring from the outside due to a retirement. And I will move that. Is there support? Mrs. Hopkins, any questions? Comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Planning and Economic Development Committee, Mrs. Root. Employment and Training Director Rita Selbeck Lynch is requesting permission to fill one full time summer youth counselor. It's a non union, $15 an hour. This position is necessary for the counseling, coordination of services, documentation, and monitoring of approximately 65 youth at approximately 35 work sites throughout the county. The annual salary of this position is $6,825. 
This position is 100% funded with temporary assistance for needy family funds, and I will move that. Moved by Mrs. Root. Is there support? Mrs. Hopkins again. <coughs> Excuse me. Any questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Okay, Employment and Training Director Rita Selbeck Lynch is requesting permission to fill one full time senior employment and training counselor, grade 17, step base 7, due to her retirement. Uh, the annual, annual salary of this position is estimated between 42000 and 53, with benefits estimated between 16000 and 20000 This position is 100% is funded 100% with Department of Social Services funds, and I will move that. Is there support? Mr. Havey, questions? None. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Resource Management Committee, Mr. Decker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Youth Bureau Director Brian Perkins is requesting a resolution accepting and appropriating the 2020 Youth Development Program allocations from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services in the amount of $81,415, and I will move that. Is there support? Mr. Fanton, are there questions? This is the detailed explanation of what Mr. Perkins shared with us at the committee meeting last week. Mr. Chairman, uh, Brian, is that really 2020 or 2021? Thank you. So, any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And that's carried. Are there any other referrals to come before our committee today? Is there any old business? Any new business? Good of the order. Mr. Healy. The caucus at 120. Anything else? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Decker. Second, Mr. Curran. All in favor? Aye. And that's carried. Thank you.